we drew a circle around where the actual bite marks were to try to make sure we kept track of it. Started to head towards Hutch, called to the hospital, called his friend Josh to see if his friend would meet us. And I asked the hospital if they could give us any advice on what was the best thing to do because we didn't know. And they didn't tell us to take the tourniquet off. We didn't know. They didn't seem to know either. So to so then went into the emergency room and then less than two minutes when we actually stepped foot in there is when they got us to the back of the emergency room. And they tried to take all of his vitals to do lab work, got him tetanus shots, morphine. What was your condition at that time? Were you in terrible? I was kind of getting a little bit more worried the more time passed. And it was swelling? It was. It was, at the time when we got to the emergency room, it was just to about there. By the time we got to the actual ICU, which was about 12.10, because they were still trying to mix the anti-venom up in the pharmacy because they thought that they didn't have any due to the fact that somebody else had just got bit by a rattlesnake last week. So they were trying to mix it. By the time we got to the ICU, his swelling had already gone past his elbow and it was just getting worse and worse. And then around one o'clock is when he actually got his anti-venom. Um, Isn't that supposed to be in a rush? Aren't you supposed to, the sooner you can get that into someone, the better? I don't know. Yeah, we would assume so, just because it's such a drastic thing, but that when they don't have the stuff, what else can you do? So we tried to keep it as much away from there as we possibly could. We actually thought that he was supposed to keep it below the heart level so it wouldn't travel up to his heart, but they actually said that they wanted to elevate it and warm up more. What about the tourniquet? Did, did they tell you that was wrong? They yes. told us to take it off when we first got to the emergency room so because they don't do that no more. Right when he sat down on the bed, I untied it and got it off him as fast as I could and they told me we're not supposed to do that because they said you can do more damage through your nerves and everything by cutting off the circulation. So. Can you show me where you got bit? Is there, are there marks that are still there? You're not going to be able to see them very okay. well, but it's right there. Okay. There's one of them. The hospital told us when they had talked to poison control that it was a copperhead due to the fact that his blood didn't thin. Oh. So, and copperhead, baby copperheads are actually gray, just like water moccasins. Yeah. How does it feel now? Uh, swollen and tender. Okay, but your, the pain's gone? No. Oh. Uh, yeah. On the level, what he told me was about four, four and a half. Down to a four and a half. It was nine. Okay.